Are you tired of defending archaic, non-consensual vampire practices in the wake of the human hashtag MeToo movement? Has the avalanche of sexual assault allegations got you sick of normalizing sexism, misogyny, and sexual harassment? Are you loath to take on the machismo with a twist of victimhood temperament not popular with many male-identifying mortals? Are you a woke vampire? Conveniently located in central Transylvania, Crystal Cliffside's renowned Vampire Therapy Center offers a holistic approach to undoing millennia-old methodologies of monstrous aggression towards women and some men. I should know. I was a demonic aggressor for 1600 years, and now <laughs> I'm not. Unlike malignant narcissism or prevalent Trumpism, aggressive vampirism is treatable. At Crystal Cliffside, we treat and heal underlying cause of aggressive vampirism. Why wait another century to get woke? Joining us in the studio, co-founder, VEO, and my longtime eternity advisor, Este Ambrosia. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. <laughs> <laughs> Entrancing to have you here, Este. Oh. Now, tell us, why... Crystal Cliffside, mm. and why now? I'm glad you ask this, Azazel. At Crystal Cliffside, we hold a mirror up. Not literally, though. No, Pron. I mean, like, metaphor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pron is victim from my past. Whose own uh, initiation, so to speak, I am not proud to think on. Bron, he is always near me. He shape shift. He turn himself into bat. Bat is my preferred incarnation. He was uh, rabid for a time. It was horrible. Bron. Apologies. These movements, uh, they rouse us, even as we are undead, forcing us to confront our own role in perpetuating human rape culture, which runs rampant in that patriarchal hellscape. Traditionally, the vampire community is not known for shining light on this subject, no? Which is why we've rebranded. Ah. Ah. Enter the woke vampire. Mm. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I didn't know he was coming. <laughs> it's quite an entrance. I couldn't resist. Oh. Ah. But uh, in regards to the rebrand, we're still the hypersexualized, psychosexual monsters of man's most craven fantasy. But we're also. Uh, we're also allies. It, it no longer feels right, just uh, hypnotizing and sucking the life out of the unconscious. You sucking know? them dry, That's bone dry, self. bone dry, down to the bone. You need Excuse a moment? Me. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, the beast that made me host was from uh, Devonian times, and that's some 360 million years ago. <laughs> so there was quite a learning curve. Still, I'm not some dinosaur. We embrace new uh, consent-centric mm. mindset and advocate for safe bloodletting ritual between the non-binary human and the immortal monster. Mm. Yes, and we take only from willing donors, mm. those who express desire in having their blood harvested or express desire in joining us in everlasting damnation. Oh. <laughs> Don't be demonic. Consent is always sexy. It is my life's work. And by life, I mean eternal unrest. At Crystal Cliffside, we offer workshops on a rolling basis, including consensual bloodletting for the modern couple, involuntary celibate vampires, and many more. Additionally, you can check out our podcast, Coffin Room Talk, featuring this month's conversation, One Nation Under God, United States of Sexual Paranoia. After all, we may be vampires, but even vampires know that consent is a safety issue that every one of us has a stake in. <laughs> <laughs>